Hello and welcome back. And today I wanna to tell you guys how to set up a mapped network drive. Now there's a number of reasons of which you might want to take advantage of a mapped network drive. Don't get me wrong. When you look at Atastore, indeed any NAS brand, you realize that the operating systems they've come up with are pretty damn good. They are sleek to look at. They've got lots of mobile applications. They give you an entire user interface and operating system you can access via your web browser. But, and mobile apps, let's not forget the mobile apps, but a lot of the time you want to use third-party software that's on your Mac or Windows system, maybe on your mobile phone. And what you want the NAS to do is just be a target. You want it to be a big pile of storage that can be accessed remotely for you to do all your work on. So, in order to do that and take advantage of it, if you want to use your own editing software on your PC, one of the best ways to do that and get the best speeds is via using a mapped network drive. Now, in order to do this, you will need a few things. <clears throat> to make the process easy, make sure you download Acer Store's Control Center application. It's completely free and available from their own website. There are other ways to do this, but this is easily the most straightforward of all and gives you a nice remote application on your PC that you can conduct configuration options on your Acer Store NAS. Next thing you want to do is make sure you've created shared folders. Now to do that, there's many, many ways to do it, but one of the easiest ways to do it is to go into the File Explorer application that the Acer Store arrives with. Head over here for creating a new shared folder. And we've got a bunch of shared folders here, but let's create a brand new one just for this test. We're going to call this one Test Share. From there, we're not going to bother giving it a description. You can then say where on the NAS you want it to be, whether you want it to be invisible or visible, and whether you want to create a recycle bin, and of course, if you want to encrypt this shared folder, which is very cool indeed. For now, we're going to keep it nice and simple. You can also change admin rights and access rights to the folder by individual user, groups, and indeed individual privileges as you so choose with some great options for Windows ACL. Carry on, and then we've got our setup. This is the most basic shared folder we're creating right now, but do take into account your own security protocols might need you to take a good look at some of those options. We've clicked finish, and we've created our new shared folder. If we head over here, we can see our shared folder here. Now, if we head back to that, operate, uh, that great little app here that I give you at setup, not only can you scan your local area network and find the NASes on your local area network, from here, if you highlight the connect option, you will see map network drive. Now, you can go to open network drive and it will show them all, but for more precision and getting the thing set up right first time, I recommend you select map network drive. It will then invite you to enter your login details for the NAS, click next, and from here, it will list all of the available shared folders. And there's our test share right there. We then we select a letter for the device. Let's go for something basic like A for Acer Store. Now, before I click finish, it's worth highlighting. If we go down here to the My PC section, we can see my C drive. But that is it. There are no other drives here for us to access. And if we were to utilize some third-party editing software or third-party backup software, where we can't communicate via this NAS's user interface in the web browser. We've selected A, we click Finish, and now what it will do is it's, cre it's created a new folder here. And this means, much like we can configure or interact with any folder on our NAS as we would, now or on the PC as we would, we can now access the content of that folder we've created. And this folder is a live sync with this NAS. Now, when I say live sync, this isn't uh, in synchronization of two folders using the client application, which we will cover in another video. But if we go to that test share folder, we can find some basic videos. Here's some videos that I've done earlier on. And we can actually, let's go for uh, some standard pictures. These are ones from videos that I've done and some terrible pictures of me. But if we were to take advantage of these images here, drag these into here, into the window, and this is via the web browser. This will now upload these big old pictures into that folder. And in the background, in the TerraShare, as you can see, all of these files are now visible 
and they have thumbnails. So it's that straightforward to map a network drive. And remember, that logic works the other way too. Let's go into Berlin here from some time I spent in Berlin. Let's grab five photos, click copy, go to the mapped network drive and paste them in. You paste them in. This time, we'll look at this from the other side. We'll log into the NAS, refresh that folder, and we can see those pictures are now in the NAS. Double click it and the photo visible here. I am using um, OBS so it will restrict a number of the visual differences. So don't blame Asus Store for that. But this has been how to map a network drive with Asus Store NAS. It really is that straightforward and it's nice and easy. And particularly if you're editing like I am and you're going to take advantage of the 2.5 GB ports on the Nimbus Store 4 or a 10 GB NAS in the near future then Mapping Network Drives allows you to edit photos and video directly over the network on the NAS. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Click like and subscribe, and I will be doing more videos about Nimbus Store in the coming weeks. But catch you later. See more Acer Store NAS. Click the bell to be notified for when they come up, and I'll see you guys next time.